Hey everyone, welcome back to more Adeptus Titanicus Dominus. I am Disturbing Puppet. We're going to continue the campaign today. We've got a couple missions left. We just had a hint of an Imperator Titan under Chaos Control that we're going to have to deal with at some point. So, uh, yeah, not sure I'm looking forward to that, but we'll see how it goes. So on to mission 17. I'm assuming 18 is the last one. Let's see what we've got here. Kind of had the last two maps in a row and same forces, it seemed like. Uh, so kind of some reused sorts of things. Uh, hopefully we'll have something a little different. It'd be kind of cool if the last mission is just a bunch of my titans against an Imperator all by itself, if they're, like, super powerful. Maybe. I'm sure he'll have some other support. It'll be more than just one titan going up against a group of mine. What do we have today? Oh, no, we're going right into it. Okay, um... Form up all battle manifolds and prepare to defend! Whatever you do, keep something between your titans and that Imperator! Princeps Maxim, make them pay manifold for every loyal engine kill! Okay, well, I wasn't expecting this, but uh, I guess we'll have to deal with it. Um, I'm assuming we'll win as soon as we... Oh, it's really, really big. Um, I'm assuming we'll win as soon as we destroy it, so we can kind of ignore the others, potentially. Okay, that's not good. I don't like that. And I can't move the camera. So I have no idea what's going on, because the camera's freaking out. Uh, what did you even shoot at? I honestly don't know. So shield hit, shield hit, one point of damage. Something went through the shields, it looks like. Um, it must have been my Reaver. What is this? I don't even know. No world is beyond his rule. No enemy beyond his wrath. So he's decided to march right out here in front of me, which is a little crazy. Um, there's a lot of enemies here. This is... Not good, I would have to say. Okay, so you have two power fists and an apocalypse launcher. All right, so we could potentially run you up and punch the legs of the Imperator. I'm not sure what that's going to do, but um, sure. That's, I mean, I, I can do that. I don't know that that's a great idea. All right, out here on the edge, two volcano cannons, apocalypse launcher. Good setup for a reaver. Discipline, duty, unyielding will. This is okay. Two laser blasters, one volcano cannon, one plasma cannon. The plasma cannon can only shoot every other turn, but at least we do have the volcano cannon. We do have a nice big target here. Mercy destroys us. It weakens us and saps our resolve. Two laser blasters, one volcano cannon, one power claw. Not so great on the warlords because they are so slow. I don't really like close combat weapons on them uh, just because they are quite slow to get into close combat with the enemy. And yeah, whenever I move the camera here, it just totally tanks the frame rate. The Emperor's sacrifice is life, as ours is death. Same here, we've got a power claw, volcano cannon, two laser blasters. Is not an Plasma cannon, volcano but cannon. So we have a couple of those. No dual volcano cannons. We walk in the Omnissiah's name. Turbo laser destructors are decent for knocking down shields. Not so great at destroying armored enemies, though. Not bad, but not great. Kind of comparable to the uh, laser blasters up here. Just not as many shots. For we count the lives of planets, not men. So we have a decent amount of firepower on the Warhounds, surprisingly. Uh, I guess I should look at the enemies, although I'm probably going to focus mainly on the Imperator. Uh, no, that. Okay, you've got two Volcano Cannons, two Apocalypse Launchers. That's nasty. Two Laser Blasters, okay. Looks like two volcano cannons, yep. So that's my preferred setup. The, uh... Okay, apparently it wants to pick that. Two volcano cannons and two laser blasters is my preferred setup. Got a Bane Lord hiding in the back, actually. I didn't see him before. That's fine, they all have the same setup. So close combat, they're dangerous. Otherwise, not too bad, actually. I'm gonna look at the Imperator last. So you've got the two laser blasters, it looks like. Yep. In the back, another two Volcano Cannon, yes. 
Another two volcano cannons. So he's got a lot of volcano cannons, which is really dangerous. All right, let's take a look at the Imperator here. Plasma Annihilator and Hellstorm Cannon. So the Plasma Annihilator is actually slow, so he shot it this turn, so he's not going to get a chance to shoot it next time. It does have multiple shots. It's nasty. It's a macro weapon. It's a Titan Killer. That's dangerous. Hellstorm Cannon, lots of shots. That's a ton. Not so great at destroying stuff. He does have 800 shields, which I think is the same as my Warlords. 1200 armor is... I think 800 is the Warlord. Let me check. So my Warlords, I think, are 800, 800. As the Emperor bids us. No, 800, 600. So it's got 200 more shields than a Warlord, and it has 400 more health than a Warlord. That's pretty considerable. So I could focus everything on him right away, which maybe is what I should do. Because he is kind of out in the open. It's honestly not a bad idea, kind of looking at the angles here. I could even have the Warhounds on the edge take some pot shots in, save the guys up close. We've got our close combat guy here who's pretty much screwed no matter what. Yeah, so you can see the icon here showing that his plasma gun is out. I'm going to try to get the camera in here. It's kind of freaking out whenever I get close. It's popping up in the air. I'd like to get in a little closer than this, but at a height, but it's not really letting me. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. All right, Kaleok. I think... What I'm going to do... Billions live or die by our actions. If I just roll out... This thing's tall. Where am I shooting? So I am shooting at an upward angle, kind of toward its center. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to see if the stuff, my shots, are actually going to make it. Okay, getting through. All right, so that's going to do some shield damage. I'll go ahead and retain, I guess. Nope, too late. So I did do quite a bit of damage there, actually, to his shields, knocking him down. Bane Lord's going to try to block shots, probably, which is unfortunate. But if I shoot up, I should be okay. So I want to finish knocking down his shields, and I think I'll just do that out here. So I'm going to come in. We'll try to use this as cover from this direction, and we'll just take some pot shots there. And I'll go ahead and retain now. So his shields are kind of a big area around him. So now we're actually getting some hits on his armor, but I'm not liable to do much damage. Okay, his shields are down. Now, the other thing I could do would be to focus on the Bane Lord. Then again, I could... Fear us, for we count the lives of planets, not men. That might be close enough, but I think... No, I can make it. Yeah, that should be a close combat attack, but I'm not going to do that. Not yet. We'll do that later, after I take all my shots. No foe shall stay us from our duty. So plasma cannon, volcano cannon, I think we'll start here. I'm not even going to move, I think. Well, I could inch in a little bit. Just a tiny bit. And yeah, this is something this game really needs is controlling my facing. If I move in this way, I should be facing this way. Um, I'll just kind of move in a little bit to get my accuracy up a little bit more, potentially. So, here we go with some shots that might actually do some damage. There's a little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. If I could knock off one of his guns, I'd be in a pretty good position. Because he just has the two. But I don't know how easy it is to destroy one of those. Just because they are so gigantic. And I'm not sure what the heck these things are. I can't select them. Okay, he's kind of running up out in the open. It kind of seems like he's trying to kind of move other units in to block my shots, potentially, or Loss distract is acceptable. me. Failure is not. So we do have the Power Fist here, which isn't really that helpful. 
but I do have the volcano cannon. Let me just inch up and over a little bit. If I land some accidental shots on him, I'm kind of okay with that. That's fine. Continue retaining. Gonna keep throwing shots in here, hoping for the best. Getting a little bit of damage. Not massive amounts, but something. I'm tempted to just burn this guy down with my two warlords, but I feel like that's probably not the best course of action. Um, unfortunately, my reaver here is kind of blocked to take a shot at him. At least it looks like it. No, well, maybe that's alright. That might be clear. Okay, you've got dedication. the power fist. Uh, I'm a little concerned about having all these people standing out in the open, but... I want to get maximum firepower on the Imperator right away. So I think I'm just going to continue to ignore everything. And I don't want to get too close to the Bane Lord, although I am going to probably charge it with my Reaver here. So let's just stay put. Some of that should be fine. One Volcano Cannon, whole lot of Laser Blaster shots. Let's see if I get much. There's a little bit of damage. A little bit more. A little bit more. What are you doing? I can win this! Okay. What the heck? What? What? Um. Wow, I'm just getting hammered. Why is this continuing? Why are you still moving and shooting? Okay, something super glitched out here, apparently. Yeah, something very, very wrong. <laughs> What's the heck is going on? Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So, apparently I blew it up. There's no way that was enough damage to blow it up. I did a little bit more damage. I don't know what happened then with... Because of the timing, it took like an infinite action or multiple actions in a row and just charged in to instantly destroyed one of my guys, which is very weird. Um, am I still there? Is my Titan still there? I can't select anything now. Okay, that was super goofy, um, but I guess a victory is a victory. I might try to redo this just to see if uh, it goes normally, because that was really bizarre. Well done, Princeps Maxim. You have again blooded the nose of the foe, and against a Chaos Imperator, no less. You have done well. Very well indeed. Sadly, our losses were not insignificant. And it appears we may have lost Princeps Helena and her scout maniple. Regrettably, Princeps Signoris, the situation is worse than you know. How so, Inquisitor? Dire news has also reached my ears not moments ago. The fleet's navigators are reporting that the warp is getting tumultuous. Dark things are afoot. I believe the Chaos Ritual is drawing the nearby warp storm over the forge world of Kayla 9, perhaps with the intent of claiming it as a Chaos world. The loss of this forge world to Chaos is too... too great to fathom. Yes, such a loss would be... Extremely significant. It must not be allowed to pass. The ritual must be stopped at once. Princeps Maxim, I know your titans and crews have not had time to recover, but you must push forward and claim the top of Mount Eshdu immediately to stop the ritual. Okay, well that was the most anticlimactic mission of all time, thanks to that glitch. So I'm actually going to try it again and see if things uh, go the way they're supposed to. I'm still going to do kind of the same thing. If he charges out forward, uh, I am going to just hammer him relentlessly with everything I've got right from the get-go and see what I can do. Maybe it's at a certain point of damage it'll teleport out, but I don't think I did that much damage. Let's see if I can skip through this. Apparently not. Oh, maybe. There we go. 
Okay. So let's see if he gets the first action. No, nope. okay, I'm going to get to go first this time, which is not exactly what I want. I kind of want him to come out. And actually, he must have walked through the Banlord on his turn before. Just like phase through him like he wasn't even there to end up in front. Um, I'm hoping he'll continue to target him first because I kind of view him as expendable compared to everybody else. Uh, I kind of don't want to take an action, honestly. So I think... Yeah, I kind of want to save all my big guns for him. We'll let him rush out, do kind of the same thing. Do I have shots? I do potentially have shots Serve on the Imperator in the back. As you would have it fight for you. Let me take a look and see if it's going to angle them way up. That might be okay. I'm not sure if these are destroyable or not. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Let's see if the shots make it through. Okay, so that's not real terrain, apparently. So we are going to go ahead and knock down a bunch of his shields. Its shields, her shields, whatever. So let's see if the enemy uses the Imperator first. No, okay. I want the Imperator out front. Instead, the Bane Lord's going to come charging out. Okay, so probably same when thing. The calls us to war, we serve without question. I should be in range here to charge in with my two power fists. The question is, do I want to do that now? I'm hoping the Imperator moves up, which will increase my accuracy for all my shots on the Imperator. That's sort of my plan. I could go ahead and just take the pot shots on the flank with the Warhound. We are duty bound to make this execution. But I'd rather have him move up because then I've got a little bit better angle and I can sort of grab a little bit of cover here. Um, I guess... Wars are won by firepower and force. We go ahead and go mano a mano with the Bane Lord here. So let's see if this is enough to take out the Bane Lord. If they destroy each other is kind of what I'm assuming is going to happen as the camera keeps freaking out. Double Power Fist. Oh, he's dead. Let's see if he destroys me in return. Did I not take any damage at all? I didn't take any damage at all. That's super weird. Okay. Alright, you're shooting at what? My Warlord. A little bit of damage taken. Not ideal for sure. Yeah, I'd like that Imperator move and take its shot. Probably he'll go for the guy out front, but I'm not sure. If I just come straight out here, we'll take the shots just to knock the shields down completely. Unlikely I'm going to do any damage here, just I'd want to knock the shields down on the Imperator. Try to goad him into coming forward. I actually did some damage. Okay, here we go. Let's see if my poor little Reaver can survive this. That is really scary looking, actually. <laughs> Survived! Tough little dude. Good job. Okay. So now I can just go through and have everybody hammer him again. I don't know, to refer to an Imperator as him for some reason seems appropriate, but, you know, could it be like a ship and a she? Is it... Let's just... Yeah, we'll inch up here. Take the shots and retain. Just throw everything I've got. The 
check and see how much damage we've gotten in after a couple shots. That was a decent amount, actually. So all the shields are down. Uh, so you've got one gun, you've got one gun, you've got two. Let's save the two guns for the end here, I think. Our duty is our dedication. Got a close combat weapon. I want to try to move... Well, I could move over to this cover. I'm not sure if it's real cover, though. Alright, I'm just going to inch up here a little bit. Shoot at the Imperator. Let's take a look and see what we're dealing with here. He's already down to 698, actually. Almost half health already. That's pretty darn good. So maybe I did do enough damage to destroy it. Or maybe it just pieces out and teleports out when you're down to like 100 health or something. Okay, now you're gonna go. Let's see if it totally freaks out here and does something weird with the order. Yeah, so that terrain isn't really there, which is kind of irritating. Okay, took quite a bit of damage. Serve this machine as you would have it fight for you. I think we've got a good angle here, so I'm not going to move up. So you're now down to 441. So we did do pretty good damage with that other shot. So let's see what we get here. Oh, right. And we'll retain. Is that it? You're going to freak out and run away? What are you doing? <laughs> Camera's freaking out. Let's zoom out so it stops flipping out. Okay, so that was, yeah. So it is kind of an easy one. I think, I don't think I did 440 damage. I think I probably did, so what, 80, 110, 150-ish, 200... 270, well, 350. So probably when it's 100 health or less, it just teleports out. So I guess it wasn't a glitch, but it kind of glitched out last time when um, the other unit took the action at the same time and it totally freaked out. Um, but yeah, so that's how easy it is to destroy an Imperator, apparently. Well done, Princeps Maxim. Then we'll just exit through there. Okay, so that was Mission 17, a very, very quick Mission 17. Um, come back next time, we'll have the final mission, Mission 18. So yeah, kind of the Imperator, not so scary. I kind of thought by itself it could take probably all my shots without too much trouble, and then would be able to do pretty good damage back to me, like one round of shooting would destroy one of my units, but not quite. Um, so yeah, maybe the Imperator is not quite as scary as I thought. But we'll see. I'm assuming we'll probably run into it again on Mission 18 at the top of the mountain when we have to try to dissipate the warp storm and the ritual. But until then, uh, again, I've been Disturbing Puppet. This has been more Adeptus Titanicus Dominus, finishing off the campaign. Uh, after this, I'll probably do some skirmishes and stuff. And uh, as always, I would like to add at the end that if you are uh, new here, please subscribe. I'm a tiny, tiny channel, so subscribes and likes and all that kind of stuff are huge for getting my videos to actually get it's seen by people. Um, even if you're subscribed, you may not even see stuff because I'm such a tiny channel. But uh, yeah, if you do like this stuff, please, please subscribe. Please like uh, all that kind of stuff. Commenting also helps a lot. Uh, hopefully I will see you all again next time. Until then, have a good one.